Yeah. What's up, La Jolla? How are we doing? Yeah. Sold out crowd, good looking crowd. What's up, you guys? Like to bring a little pet piece? I'm sorry. Yeah, I yeah, just did. <laughs> Have some water? I don't drink. I don't drink. I just got married, you guys. I love it. It's awesome. I married a woman who's 10 years younger than me, too. Yeah. The guys are like, yeah. The women are like, you piece of shit. <laughs> My mom was like, Steve, what are you having in common with a woman who's 10 years younger than you? And I said, absolutely nothing, Sarah. That's what makes it amazing. <laughs> Women my age expect things. <laughs> <laughs> like a down payment on a house. <laughs> An IRA account, you know? My wife thinks it's cool we have a 2011 Nissan Versa. <laughs> And a Netflix account, so we're, <laughs> the price went up, so we're gonna have to talk about that. You know? It's either Netflix or Hulu. I adore my wife, but I was almost married before. Right, right when we were engaged, I googled my ex one last time to see what was going on. Don't Google your ex one last time to see what was going on. It's bad news, it's bad. It's good news, it's bad. <laughs> I blocked her on Facebook. When you block someone on Facebook, if you Google them, it circumvents the block. So, yeah, that's really creepo. <laughs> that was genuine, too. We could talk about that, and I thought, like, really? That was soul speaking right there. Chills, you know. <laughs> There's 12 set groups for that too. We meet on Wednesdays over at Piano Camp. Uh, <laughs> no, we don't. We just slither. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but it does block. It does circumvent the block. So I, I googled her and out popped her brand new profile picture. She was kissing her new boyfriend who was shirtless, covered in tattoos. I'm a creep. I'm sitting there scanning his tattoos to see who this asshole is. My friend walks in to write jokes with me. He's like, what are you doing, dude? I'm like, look, it's Ashton. He goes, oh my god. We both saw it right at the same time. Right across the dude's chest in Old English. Fuck bitches, get money. <laughs> I'm in my 30s. I'm in love. I started crying, you know? I was just like, Bill, I gotta ask you something. He's like, what, homie? I'm like, Bill, tell me the truth. He's like, I got you, dog. I'm like, is he fucking her? <laughs> He's like, homie, we know two things about this guy. <laughs> well, it's bitches and he gets money, you know? <laughs> she was a bitch with a lot of money, so that like, looks like a vision board on his chest there. <laughs> Vision boards work. I, I watch Oprah. <laughs> you guys are a great crowd. Actually, I, I quit Facebook altogether. Um, uh, yeah, thank you. That's that's the real win. You know, I'm so that's nothing compared to quitting Facebook. You know, that's just, I don't talk to my own real mom every day, but I can't wait to see what Janelle from A3 is eating for lunch. You know. <laughs> so far back on someone's Facebook profile at 3 in the morning that if that person were to walk in, you'd go to jail? <laughs> There's 200 of us in here, but I'm only talking to you. We're waiting. Yeah. You know what I like to do on that far back? Facebook profile creeping around at 3 in the morning, it's just randomly like a picture to let them know I was there. <laughs> you knew it, bro. How, what, you, you gotta go sit at that table right there. <laughs> What's that? If they barely you need to join me. Bro, I'm putting, my, I'm putting it all out here. You know, I'm not like who I am. You know? <laughs> Can I tell you guys a, a real story? You can't. If you're friends with Steve-O, if you, if you can't, don't tweet on him, don't ruin this, him and my brother, 
this is, I, I, I don't tell this on stage, so I told Josh to tell this new story, he was laughing, you gotta talk about this. This is real, 100% true, this happened. So, I, I am very close to Steve Oak from Jackass. Really good guy, I love him. We're both sober, we have a lot in common. Thank you, thank you. For, yeah, thank you. For what it's worth, yeah. <laughs> My brother, my brother got sober, and he was like, what am I going to do? I'm like, what do you want to do with your life? And he was like, look, all I want to do is surf, make fun videos, make money, and travel the world. And I was like, dude, that's not going to happen. You know? <laughs> like, that's not the way sobriety works. You know? <laughs> that's sorry, it just doesn't. And he was like, well, that's what I want to do if I get sober. So he gets sober, and like, he's doing good, he's surfing. And Steve-O calls me, I was like, oh, that's what Steve-O does. Like, they're, they're just a natural fit. They're both, I really love my brother. He's a really good dude, too. And they're both just like the same kind of guy. So I introduced them. And um, I don't know if you have a brother, but like, I love my brother, but we're very competitive with each other. I want my brother to do well, just not better than me, you know? <laughs> so there's like this unspoken competition with siblings, you know? So I, I put them together, and they just hit it off a little too good, you know? <laughs> they're both not calling me back, all this <laughs> All of a sudden they're traveling the world, making videos, surfing. I don't know how to surf, I body surf, but you know. And they're, they're hitting it off and, and everything's going good. So my brother sells his merch on the road. Steve was a very generous person, very cool. So he's like, hey, why don't you just live at my place? He's got a sick pad in the hills. My brother's like, shit, this is awesome, you know? Moved into his place in the hills, everything's cool. I'm like, all right, whatever. A couple months later, my mom calls me. We live in Pasadena. My mom calls me, she's like, meet me at my Harvey's. Nice restaurant. I got. I have something to tell you. I'm like, oh my god. You know, my mom's got a disease. Like that's you know. I hear that 3 p.m. on a Wednesday. Your mom has something to tell you. Meet me at a Mexican restaurant. It's not good. You know. And I'm like, all right. So I meet there, and she's like, we order, and she starts tearing up, and she's like, is your brother a rent boy? <laughs> Right, well, I'm not from the 70s, so I didn't know what the hell that was. I had to Google that later. And I go, what? And she goes, is Scott a night walker? <laughs> and I'm just confused as everybody in this room. I'm like, Scott a night walker? Like, is my brother, you know, creeping around? I, I don't know. And so I'm like, mom. What are you talking about? She's like, a jingalo, Steven. Is your brother a jingalo? And I'm like, he's a good looking dude. You know, I'm like, I don't know, Mom. Like, you know, I, I, no, he's not. Scott's not a jingalo, Mother. And then she goes, well, who's this Steve Arino guy? <laughs> and it hit me. I'm like, Steve Arino, Steve. Oh. Oh. And I had a choice to make right there. <laughs> I know, I knew I was sitting there, yeah, I know. I'm sitting there, I'm like, my mom's crying, I'm like, this is fucked up. But my brother's winning a little too hard in life, you know? <laughs> and I'm sober, but I'm not well, yeah. <laughs> So I'm like, Mom, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. She's like, he lives with this guy in the hills, and they're flying around Australia. I'm like, that doesn't sound good, Mom. <laughs> and she goes, well, what are we going to do? And I said, I don't know, but I'm going to find out. <laughs> I'm going to do something, you know? And my mom's like, thank you. I love you. And she held me, and I go back on the freeway. And I did something, all right. What I did is I sent their last video over to her on text message, which was Steve shoving a bottle rocket up my brother's asshole. And she instantly calls me back, like, I knew it! I, how is he getting paid for this? I knew it! Now, people are weird, Mom. People are really weird. And I'm like, oh man, this is, you know, this is getting a little too far. My sister called me, she was like, I know what you're doing. I go, Stacy, don't stop this. Because <laughs> my brother's down the road making money with him, and I just set up this sick game where I'm winning, and the, hard, the more money he, 
he makes, the worse he looks, you know? <laughs> so he rolls up at Christmas in a brand new Mercedes, and my mom just starts crying. <laughs> And my brother's like, what's wrong? I'm, I'm like, and I grab my mom and just like, mom, sometimes you don't know why, but these things just happen. <laughs> it's gonna make sense later, you know? <laughs> brother still doesn't know, Steve doesn't know, and my mom doesn't know. So I would really appreciate if everybody in this room didn't fuck this up. <laughs> no tweets, they read them all, just let's be cool. Let's just be cool. I'll release a video of this one day, and that's how they'll find out. <laughs> I'm 11 years sober, you guys. The last decade, I was 28, coked out of my mind, living at my dad's house, wearing nothing but a karate gi and sunglasses all day. I did so much blow, I thought it was Johnny Cage from the, from the video game Mortal Kombat, you know? Sitting at home watching the religious channel, praying to Joel Osteen for help. <laughs> I wanted help. You guys, obviously, I'm sober now. So I'm just like, Joel, help me. <laughs> help me. And then one day, Telemundo <laughs> bought out the Christian channel, and my life was saved. <laughs> I'll pop the best show I've ever seen in my life. It's called Jose Luis Sin Censura. <laughs> It's Mexican Jerry Springer. <laughs> because Mexicans don't sue, where Jerry Springer stops holding the leash just says, Orale. <laughs> Call me. Cholos just beat the shit out of each other. The Cholos are crying. Abuelita's in the back just eating sweet bread. <laughs> they can't even believe what's happening, you know? Say. And I've never felt so alive. I'm like, finally, my people, you know? <laughs> the very end of the first, the first program I watched, it said, Tiana's problemas call. And I have mucho problemas. <laughs> so I called, you know? The guy's like, what's up? I'm like, my name's Steve, I'm 28, I can't stop doing coke, and I cry all day at my dad's house. <laughs> He's like, homie, come to the show tomorrow, Bobby. We'll put you on. Yeah. <laughs> Emails me tickets. It's in Burbank at Lieberman Broadcasting. I'm like, well, if I'm going to do this, let's go all the way. You know, bought an eight ball of Coke. I did it all. The <laughs> did it all real quick in the parking lot. Put on my karate gi, my sunglasses, and I just walk in. <laughs> I'm greeted by a bunch of gangsters. So white dudes, black dudes, and the Chinese dudes. It's just all 18th Street gang members. And I know that because they have a huge 18 right on their fucking face. But they're cool, you know? Like, I walk in and there's just some coked out white boy in a karate suit. And they're like, okay, you know? Like, they're like, what you here to do, karate kid? I said, karate kid's here to fight. And they said, oh, really? I said, you got my back? They said, S.A., all you gotta do is throw one punch and 18th Street's got your back. So there I was, coked out, suicidal, in a karate suit, and 18th Street's got my back. This is how Applebee started. I walk in, they sit me down, they start the opening panning shot on me, and I look up on a jumbotron doing this. It's one thing to see yourself brushing your teeth at the end of the night on drugs and think I'm a piece of shit, you know? It's another thing to see yourself in a jumbotron on Spanish TV at 3 p.m. and wonder, what the fuck am I doing? I'm mesmerized by it. A little ding-ding starts, they have the first guy walk out, some bullshit little show. Supposedly he cheated on his woman, I don't know, I don't speak Spanish, you know? But we all just went, boo! So I'm like, boo! Which is apparently Spanish for boo, you know? <laughs> and the guy looks at me like, right off the bat up on stage and he's like, I'm gonna take it from all these motherfuckers. But I'm not gonna take it from this white boy in a karate suit and sunglasses. <laughs> so he grabs a microphone from Jose Luis. And I'm like, oh, here it comes. So here it comes like a homeless person asking for money. You know it's your turn, you know? <laughs> he 
looks at me and he's like, no hablas espanol. And everybody goes, boo. I turn around, 18th Street's like, boo. Oh my gosh, shit. <laughs> I can't go out like this, you know? So I grab the microphone from him with that cocaine confidence, you know? And I go, that's right. No hablas espanol. And everybody goes, boo. I turn around, 18th Street's like, boo. I'm like, you're all loaching gossos. I mean, I don't speak Spanish, I speak with my fists. Everybody goes, oh! I turn around getting high fives from 18th Street. The love I've never seen from my dad, baseball coaches. punches me right in my face. Boom! I couldn't believe it. I fall into 18th Street's arms. And they're like, we got you, dog. And just prop me up like Brad Pitt and Snatch. <laughs> okay, here we go. Look around like one punch. So I like duck, duck, and just like something hits that once. I just hit him. True to the word, 18th Street floods over my back, starts beating the shit out of this guy. I don't like where my life's going. I just start beating the shit out of this guy. <laughs> I don't like my mom. I never went to fucking prom. I'm on drugs. I cry all day walking around the valley. And this guy's gonna fucking pay. But I went to Catholic school. I'm a good guy, so I'm like, oh, whoa, you know? I don't want to kill this guy on Spanish TV. You know, I'm not that kind of guy. So, like, I stopped punching it. And all the music that was playing stops. Everybody's like all pissed off at me. The guy's just laying there with his eyes rolling back. And 18th Street's just holding him up. And I'm like looking around the studio audience, like, did I do something wrong? And I look over at Jose Luis, who's just been watching the suit and tie the whole time. And I'm just like, what? You know? And he goes, finish him! <laughs> That's when I realized when I do cocaine, I am Johnny Cage. <laughs> That's my time you guys. <laughs>